Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today, I have a huge shopping haul for you. Okay, so I asked over on Instagram, and if you aren't following me on Instagram, you totally should. I asked everyone if they like to see haul videos, and I got zero no's. All were yeses. I'm not going to show you everything I bought today because there are some things that I bought that are for a project that is going to be a part of Wednesday's video. The day you're seeing this is Monday, so in a couple of days you'll see those items in that video. We went to two Dollar Trees today. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but all Dollar Trees are not created equal. It always drives me nuts when I watch a Dollar Tree haul and I go to my local Dollar Tree and can't find the stuff that they found. So we found a couple of Dollar Trees that are a good ways away from my house, like 30 to 45 minutes away, but they are huge. They're like the Mecca of Dollar Trees and you can always find the best stuff there. We went by there today and picked up plenty of things and I'm going to show you what I got. All right, the first thing I got are these adorable placemats. I got five of these for a project. I'm not going to be using them as placemats, but you'll see them soon. I also picked up some bath bombs. These are expensive other places, and I've seen several people hauling them from Dollar Tree, so I picked up three. I got the coconut verbena lime and the vanilla and wild berries and the pink grapefruit and sugar cane. So for only a dollar a piece, I thought I'd give them a shot. Another thing I started buying last year from the Dollar Tree are these solar lights. These work wonderfully. Now they only work for about a year, but I mean, you're only paying a dollar for each one. It's got the stake in here that you pull out and then you stick into the ground. This year they had a different kind. It's not just plain glass. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little different, but I picked up eight of these. I mean, if I have to pick up eight new ones next year. I mean, it's only $8 for the year, so it's really not a bad price. And they go perfectly along our sidewalk to just kind of illuminate it very softly at night. The next thing I picked up is for another project. It was just two of these stems and they're gonna, these little beads fall everywhere. I'm not even gonna separate them. Gypso, I believe is the name of these. This for a project that I have in mind. The next thing I picked up was just this bag of white stones. Yeah, and I'm going to use these. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw where I picked up a candle at Target on clearance for $4.98, and it smelled really good. However, when I got it home and I lit it, you don't smell it at all. Like, you have to go right up on it to smell it. I was very disappointed in that, but another reason that I bought it, other than the smell of the candle, was for the actual jar that it's in. So I'm gonna scrape the candle out and I'm gonna fill it up with this and more than likely I'm going to be putting a succulent in there. I'm not sure, but I really loved the jar. The next thing I picked up at Dollar Tree were these two. They're kind of like, they're hard and they're almost like a box. You could use them as a tray. I plan on painting over them and doing a different DIY on them, but for a dollar you couldn't beat it. On here it says, Home is not a place, it's a feeling. So it's not, it's not horrible, but I didn't want to keep it this way. I plan on painting it. Okay, so I saw this one hauled by someone else and found it right when we were about to leave the second Dollar Tree. So I was disappointed I had not seen it yet, but I finally found it. It's this, oh my word, it's this little cubes. They're not very big, but they have these sequins on the front and it can either be, like this one is kind of like the mermaid tail color or if you run your hands the other way, it's pink. It's so cute. I'm not using it personally. I have a very special little girl in my life whose birthday just passed, Jenny's daughter, but I'm gonna use this as the gift bag or basket, I guess. So I'm gonna put her gifts in here and that way she can use this in her room at home. I just think it's so neat. Like I just stood there and did this like over and over and over again in the store. If you haven't seen lately in different Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game when it comes to wall art. I found these two cute prints and the frames don't match, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. I don't know if I'll paint the frames or what I'll do, but I thought these were perfect for summer. The first one is a lemonade print and I'll show you. I wonder if I can get it without a glare on there. Super cute. And the other one is just lemons. So it goes along with that. So I don't know where I'll put these. I 
mean, for a dollar, you just couldn't beat it. Another really cute thing that I picked up two of are these little photo, it's a frame, and it has a little clip at the top, and it does have a stand on the back, so you can stand these up. But I picked up this one. I love the design on that one. And then I picked up this marble one. Adorable little sign. It's a very small square, and it has burlap on the back, and this galvanized metal on the front, and it says, Welcome to our home. And it wouldn't be a trip to Dollar Tree without me picking up ribbon. I love their ribbon. Such a great deal. And I don't use a whole lot of ribbon when I do use it. So the amount that you get on these spools for a dollar is perfect. I found this one. This is a chevron. It's kind of a peachy pink with gold chevron. And I found this lace ribbon. The last thing from Dollar Tree was these chargers. I picked up six of these. They're in the silver. I love chargers, and if you go to Michael's, even on sale, they're pretty expensive. And usually I don't see the silver ones. I see the gold ones at Dollar Tree a lot, and I've seen the white ones before. And I have one white one that I use in the center of my table pretty often. But I thought these would be good for a tablescape. We have six shares, so I picked up six of these. And just like Dollar Trees are not created equal, neither are Target dollar spots. Can I get an amen? My local Target dollar spot is not good. It gets on my nerves. Every time I go in there, it looks like a tornado has just blown through. And they never have anything that I see people haul. Uh, so we stopped by a different Target. It's a newer Target. It was very nice and found a couple of things that I really loved. I found a lot of things I really loved, but I practiced some restraint. I was proud of myself. But I did pick up this metal watering can. I love it. It was $5, I think. Yeah, $5. So cute. For my uh, front porch on that little table that you've seen, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it here. I redid my front porch. I have a a table in between two rocking chairs. I thought this tray would go perfect on that table. And this tray was five dollars as well. And that was all I picked up in Target. Serious restraint. I mean, I was good. We stopped by Michael's simply because they were having, or they had a coupon on their app that was 20% off your entire purchase, even sale items. So we just stopped by to see if there was anything we wanted. What's the answer to that? And I found this floral arrangement. It's for the fall. It is not for now. I love how soft these colors are, but they do kind of have the orangey, yellowish cream color that I love in fall. So I loved this flower arrangement. I think it was beautiful. And it was listed for $34.99. But it was either 40% off. It doesn't tell me. It was either 40% off or 50% off. And then I got another 20%. So my total was $17.80. But for $17, I thought this was gorgeous. And you thought I was done. No. Stopped by Hobby Lobby. Stopped by two Hobby Lobbies because I forgot something at the first one. And then we got back into town and I went by my local Hobby Lobby and picked it up. I'm not going to show you the majority of what I got at Hobby Lobby. Simply because you're going to see it on Wednesday. So make sure you check back in on Wednesday for the project that I'm doing because you're going to see those things. But I did pick up a few things in their Easter section. All of their Easter decor, all of that stuff, since it's after Easter now, was 66% off. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. I love Easter decor mainly for the bunnies. I love bunnies. They are so precious. Most of the bunnies that they had left in the Easter section were either missing an ear or a tail or a paw. Poor guys. They were pitiful. But we did find a few that were still perfect. And they were 66% off, so I picked them up. I found this little guy. He is, he's got his back paw reaching up and he's scratching. So cute. Love him. He's kind of a cream color, kind of antique looking. He was originally $9.99, so after 66% off, he was $3.40. The next bunny I picked up, I may spray paint. I may not. I may leave him like this. But he's scratching too. I didn't realize both of these guys were scratching their ears. They need some flea medicine. <laughs> but here he is. He is so cute. And he was $3.99 originally, so I paid $1.36 for him. 
And the last thing I'll show you today from Hobby Lobby came from the Easter section as well. And I got it because I might use it in a wreath for next year. I'm not sure. But it's this little um, bird's nest with eggs in it. And it's supposed to hang like this. But I'll probably take this part off and put it in a wreath. It was $3.99, so after the discount, it was $1.36 as well. It was a great day. I'm exhausted, happily exhausted. I'm going to go put most of this stuff up, and I'm going to catch you guys on Wednesday. Bye. I don't even want to get up.